Hi, this is Hi Bob Poor Bob, and we're about to play some Ultimate General Civil War. And we're back with the next part of Bull Run. We are moving some guys around, two of them over to here, one to here, and a couple more to the center there. We are finishing up our surround over here, and just marching right along. Gonna move those two to. Oh, decided to get an attitude again. Gotta deal with that. Can't let him get too uppity. Go ahead and get these um, skirmishers out here ahead of them. Should be fine. They decided to come back from... There's no way they can start firing, like, real shots for a little bit, but still. It is rather annoying that they continuously keep coming back. Really need these guys to get over here. side. Okay. Got them to route. Go ahead and take these guys off their cavalry. And move these guys around. Put those guys back away. Get this guy moving to there. This guy moving to there. These two guys moving there. I think we are pretty much ready to keep this party rolling. guys moving around even further. Those two go there. I'm going to have those two move forward a little bit more. Hampton's Legion. Let's go ahead and throw them on around the back just as kind of a backup, I think, is what they might be best for right now. Ooh, miss once. Skirmishers, do they just take that much damage from him? That's crazy. Makes no sense. How close are these guys? I mean, they're getting there. Not quite as far as I would have liked, though. Okay, let's go ahead and start moving those guys up. Go ahead and have those guys start at them, actually. Go ahead and have B fall back a little bit. And break off his skirmishers there. Okay. Those guys go there. Maybe that one goes that way just a little bit. Let's see if I can't get them both to be routing over here. Okay.
We are wearing them down slowly. There we go. Hampton's Legion, go there. Go ahead and run. Break off your skirmishers, go back there. charging okay okay go ahead and have them target them should be a good hit right Gonna have spring skirmishers break back. Okay. No. Don't do stupid things like that. These guys working over there. Okay, we're gonna have these guys not fire, get back up on their horses, and go capture that supply wagon, hopefully. Well, guess let's have him go this way first. Kill this guy. Sure. Yay! Finally. Okay, over there. Move over there. Go this way. That is perfect. Oh wait, that guy's supposed to go back in there. Move forward just a tiny bit. Captured, good. Now I need him to get out of there so he's not in the way. Or I guess you could just do whatever you feel like instead. That's that's cool too. Okay, miss two skirmishers. Miss three skirmishers. Okay, so now we need all of our Cannons to move in. Hampton's Legion needs to get over there. These guys need to get over a little bit. Wilcox surrendered. Wow, that is... Good. 
I guess, yeah. I was worried that he was about to start escaping, so I guess all swell that in swell. Come on, just move forward just a little bit. They're gonna swarm them, that's fine. Okay, we're getting there. We need these guys to keep them from... That's fine. Oh wow. My old man just killed that guy. That's awesome. I guess. It's not really what I was meaning to happen, but I guess it works towards the end of them being gone, at least. This should be over very soon. I mean, I've got an hour and 23 minutes left in the battle and it's almost over. I mean, I don't know, I kinda want my guys to move around more. <laughs> because I've got till 1740 to fight this battle and they've got like two units left three units so maybe the answer is you leave the skirmishers can they keep three units bottled up though I don't know if three units can. But maybe if I put a couple more of these guys there. Go ahead and back off the bigger units. Maybe they can. Go ahead and put them towards moving away. Go ahead and put them towards moving over here. Those guys go there. Okay. Go ahead and have him run. See, and then these guys can, like, sit back at, like, max range. Just get just enough kills to, like, keep them. Let's go ahead and just take this one, move it, take that one, move it, take B, put them in place, no, why aren't you firing? Like, for real, why aren't you firing? 
That doesn't make any sense. So that guy doesn't want to be there anymore. This guy should not be there anymore. That guy, get them out. Barto. Like they were going this way and then suddenly they were just like, uh, nope. And went off that way. And I was just unable to contain it at all. I guess just keep everybody moving that way. I don't know. Except these guys. Don't really want my guys to be taking any more losses than they already have. So these guys stay on that side of the river. And we just see if we can get around the end, I guess? I don't know. I really don't think that's possible even to get around the side. Okay. Okay, that works. I guess. Keep going around. We're going to win this before this timer even goes out, I think, at this point. But maybe we let one of them escape for a bit. I mean, what's the harm? Okay, that guy's exhausted. Okay, so I'm going to have to, like, cut some things out that I just did so I'm going to redo the whole thing I can't play this song or they will copyright strike or not copyright strike but like they'll like block the video so I don't want that to happen so I'm going to record it over again now that I've blocked the sound for the music playing in the background normally so I was outnumbered by quite a bit here but my I had you know, my 3,000, uh, my 6,000 infantry, and my 6,000 infantry alone killed almost 12,000 men by themselves. No, almost 13, I think, is what it was. So we lost all the cannons on purpose so that we get cannons here. Let's see, how many we get? Eight. We get eight cannons from them losing all their cannons and just more money for free. So I don't see why not. And I killed all of those cannons and only got six howitzers. I killed like, what, 1300? A thousand? Killed a thousand, shattered 1500 worth, and somehow 
I end up with this, 6. It's terrible. Only 6 12-pounder howitzers. It's what it is, I guess. I did get 500 Lorenzes. And some Palmettos and some Springfields. I mean, it, I wish they were all Lorenzes, but beggars can't be choosers. Got a 1,269 extra money, which barely anything. My units got 3,400, 3,300, 3,200, and 2,925. Almost. I mean, it definitely is 12 and a half plus 400 and 20 minus 25. So like, I don't know, it, it averages out to almost 1300 kills. I can, I'll probably pop the math up on the screen or right around here or something and show my numbers for the match. At the beginning, I will pop up the numbers, probably will have popped up the numbers for what my KD was on the last one. And then I can compare and contrast between the two parts. So that is that. We can go in here and see what we're looking at here. So we did get the 1,000 additional recruits. That's good, which put us up to quite a bit. Our points will, of course, go into Army Organization, getting ready for the battle. So, after bull. Okay. So, we're probably wanting to get all the infields. See, it'll put us at 1,900, which is really good. Definitely looking forward to fielding one of those. Like I'm gonna be able to field a full one, a full 2,000 in uh, Shiloh, which will be really nice. If I'd picked up the Springfields before and picked up all these, I might be able to field them, but I don't think I will. Also gonna pick up the Lorenzes and stuff, but you know, it's pretty good. You know, this guy was like barely, barely a one-star unit. Now he's halfway to being a two in just one battle. That guy's even further. Yeah, so I've definitely made an army. Like, that, that unit only lost seven men. Seven men. All these units... Well, I don't know if all of them... I'll probably make 1500s at least at first, maybe. Let's see. Oh, wow. I have never seen it be that low. I have never seen it be 36 to 41k. Ever. That is crazy. Like. That makes me wonder if I have it on the right difficulty, but I'm pretty sure I have it on Legendary. Like, pretty much 100% positive. <laughs> like, I've been playing the other one for all this time, but that's definitely... Definitely Legendary. Well, Major General with the Legendary clicked. It's the only difference, right? It still says... Now I'm just questioning myself. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. And good night.